What is going on guys? So since you guys seem to enjoy my alpha recap video so far, I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm going to do a more episodic type of thing where now that there is weekly tests, I'm just going to talk you through what exactly I did in that weekly test. So if that's something you want to hear a bit more of, well, click that subscribe button because I'm going to try to do this as frequent as possible. I'm not promising I'll be able to play every week because it normally falls around when I'm working, but we'll see. Starting with the one that we had pa this past Thursday, which was on the 27th. So a few things to note, there was some combat changes in this alpha test. Those being the time between combo attacks was reduced, weapon trailing and impact effects were adjusted for weapon attacks, rotational speed while combo attacking was increased, and combo attacks may be automatically cycled now by holding Q while in tab targeting mode or the left mouse button when in action mode. None of these, I mean, really changed up the combat for me dramatically. I mean, this is just the beginning of the combat iterations. They're going to slowly phase in more and more combat changes as we go through. The only one that I had a little bit more fun with was just holding down the Q in tab targeting for to auto attack. So I didn't have to keep spamming Q to click. But when doing action combat mode, you know, I like to click the mouse, it's more engaging, but it depends on which mode you like to play. But anyways, in this testing, I played the tank. This is my first time playing the tank. I, I've i played the cleric, I've played the mage before, but this was the first time jumping in as a tank. And I can say that these tanks are meant to to tank. I mean, I don't know how else to put it. They had a lot of health. I didn't find myself running low on health from what I played. I did find myself running out of mana a lot. So what I did is I made the tank. I jumped into the starting area and did the same old quests that I've been doing. None of them have really changed. The only changes really were just some. Um, some of them got updated where there's a bug initially that I played that it wouldn't show where the location of the quest were on the map. But that seemed to be fixed for the quest that I did. And honestly, I didn't get to play that much in this testing. Steven did do some castle siege tests for a very limited group in this testing, which you can see in the um, live stream where he also talked about the testing for castle sieges and did a 30 minute gameplay. That's also on the Ashes channel. But again, all I did is I really just messed around on the tank and went through that starting area. Um, after I got through the starting area, I did some of the usual quests like hunting down enemies and killing them. You brought some arrows to a dude. You, there was one quest that gave you like 50 XP that you kind of just read like a book that was on a table and the quest was done. Um, there's a crafting quest again, but I didn't actually go out and gather the materials for it. And that was about it. I just ran around questing and some of the nodes developed, things like that, but I didn't really set out to explore because when I was ready to leave the initial starting area, which was, uh, I th you can hang out in there for like about an hour, you probably longer if you really wanted to, but it goes by quick. Again, this is just an alpha area. It's just to give you an idea of some of the features in the game and how certain things work. There was some weird thing happened where everybody on the server got teleported to the top of the starting area, like above the divine gateway. There's like some ruins. We're all in the ruins. And then there's some dude just killing everybody. And then I fell off the top of it and started to continue on my way. But because everybody was now in that area, the server performance seemed to lack a little bit. Yeah, so that was about the playthrough I got. Um, they did do a wipe after they did restarts, which was like an hour after that. And at that point, I was not logging back on for the night because I had other stuff to do. But talking about the tank for a little bit, like I said, it did feel like it could take a lot of damage. All of the abilities that I had unlocked all generated threat, which was good. I mean, that's a good thing for a tank because you want to hold the aggro. But it also seemed to do like a decent amount of DPS. Normally you play tanks and they're more bulky and they're not meant to do high amounts of damage. But also this is early entry in the game. I'm only level like four at this point. So, I mean, you don't want to not be able to do a lot of damage that early on because it would make the questing experience kind of boring, just like how the cleric is meant to be a healer, but you still want to be able to kill enemies. But again, there's also still a balance to this, and I think we'll see that a lot more once these combat changes go in. And also down the road, probably not till Alpha 2, when we get a lot more of the class systems in, and that secondary class, and the additional five classes that are in there. But other than that, again, I didn't really do much. I did realize there 
was a couple quests I missed originally that I meant to go back to, but I didn't get to them. But again, weekly tests. This is just a short video giving you a summary. I'm going to do a lot more in depth. And as more changes happen, I'm going to let you guys know about the changes into the game. I'm going to talk more about my experiences down the road. Keep in mind that there is normally a wipe on these tests. Sometimes there's not, but a lot of the times there is because the things that they want testing require you to be back to the beginning and watch the server evolve and all this info come through and all of that. And next week there will be castle sieges. I don't know if I can play it yet because I think I'm working, but if I do play it, I'll be talking about it. I want to make this like a weekly type video if I play it weekly. By the end of June, I will definitely have time to play it weekly if they're still doing the weekly tests. And they even said that eventually they want to bring in a second test on the weekend, I believe. But yeah, that's about all I got for this. Again, just short video talking about some of my experiences in the game. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. There's a lot more videos coming down the pipe. We got Alpha 1 dropping in another month or so as long as everything goes according to plan, but you know, delays happen too, so it wouldn't necessarily surprise me if Alpha 1 then again got pushed back, but I really hope it doesn't, because a lot of you guys seem to really want to see this game, and I can't wait to show it to you, so we just gotta hold tight, and we will be able to see it soon enough. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. If you're new to Ashes, have yet to create an account, or want to jump in on the forums, join in some of the discussions that they do, or purchase into Alpha 1, feel free to use my referral link in the description below. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.